Welcome to the fifth episode of the、uh, Pong's Book Club. So in this episode, I'm going to recommend a book called Experimentation Works.、Uh, it's written by Professor Stephen Tomkey、uh, from Harvard Business、uh, School. So if you go to his、uh, webpage at the、uh, school, you can probably have a more、uh, better understanding of his career and research on、uh, new product development, R and D management. And innovation, so he is a very good、um, uh, researcher and professor. He,、uh, if you search his name on Google, you probably see more of his talks and lectures, which are some of them are really interesting.、Um, so, in this uh, book, uh, it's talk about it's about you know、uh, what is experimentation and how it drives business performance. So, I recommend this book、uh, partly because. Um, you know, experimentation signals the final step of how to create a value based on your data. Because I am a, a data analyst director at this hotel group, and I I thought of a lot of the ways you know to prove to my senior leaderships、uh, uh, how my daily work create value for this organization. But you know, after this, I think. This is going to be my last week at this company.、Uh, I have to say, you know, for the last、uh, nine months,、uh, it's very、uh, personally it's been a you know very struggling experience because、um, in building inside this、uh, group culture, it's very hard for them to understand, you know, why we need to do、uh, a little bit more experimentation, experimentation just to to show, you know,、uh, different you know custom labels.、Uh, Uh, how to personalize communications?、Um, so that's when I th- see this book, and I immediately fall in love with the structure, with the content it provides. You know, from why you know what is implementation, why it works, and what makes a good business experiment,、uh, and talk about you know online experimentation versus offline, and more importantly, the last three chapters. Almost focus on you know building the culture for this experimentation because I think the technology side right now is has its foundation for a lot of companies. You know you can buy technology, you can rent technology from other big companies to build your experiment experimentation platform. For example, like Tomkey, I think gave a talk at this company called Optimize Me,、uh, which is also Uh, I think the founders、uh, are behind the、uh, Obama Obama's elect election、uh, campaign, so they are the first to use you know experimentation in a political campaign.、Um, so that's why you know、uh, you know they provide technology so that you can quickly adopt、uh, A/B testing in your own websites and other social media channels. So the technology is really not the hard part. The, the difficult part is you know. Let your leadership know, you know why we are doing this, how it is going to help your company. So, starting from the first chapters, I think the author、uh, gives a very good, you know, structure. You know how the experimentation works. You have to generate、uh, a hypothesis or the key question you are facing. You know, and then you run those experiments to gather the data, and then you learn the meaningful insights from them. You make decisions, right? So that's the the first thing, the first chapter, and then in the third chapter is very interesting for a lot of us working in an online environment to talk about the examples from Booking dot com, from Bing. You know how、uh, Bing as an you know、uh, underdog in the、uh, online search market, how it is、uh, use experiments to、uh, drive up its traffic.、Right? So in this last chapter is more about you know.、Uh, The typical, the myths, what we call myths, you know, because it's more like、uh, those are the business. How the you know the last generation of business people, how they are feeling、um, the experimentation concept. The thing is more like you know、uh, in the online environment, it's not suitable for us. It's not really creating any value. So we we really need to、uh, educate them in a better way. You know, perhaps buy this book and give them、uh, this book. To let them understand, you know, why we are trying this A/B testing thing, 
uh, to increase our increase our competitiveness in the in the whole market. So overall, this is a very uh, good book to read uh, and adopt a lot of these key ideas in your daily business work. So uh, before I read this book, I also have this uh, little sharing I'm, I was giving um, to a local university. So I was just trying to share here. So uh, there are a lot of the good cases about using different uh, exper experiments and A-B testing concepts in uh, social and business worlds. So the famous one is I've just mentioned uh, is in the experiments in the Obama campaign. So they basically uh, do this testing with the uh, campaign websites and also emails, right? So you can see from the original version, it's more focused on uh, the present, uh, the present candidate himself, right? And then they change from that to uh, a more family forecast, right? So family forecast pictures. And there is, uh, the first one is focusing too much on the call to action, right? You give them your email address, you give them your Z code and you need to sign up. You know, sign up seem, seems a little bit more uh, too much on the first, you know, visit to the website. So they, uh, they change it to learn more. So that sounds like a more soft approach. So over that course of campaign, this creates like 40% lift in signups and create you know 2.8 million more email subscribers and a lot of more like donations uh, for the future you know president. And another good example is the, uh, we all often talk about online business. So at Amazon, you know how it change keep keep changes. Uh, the the front page of the website, you know, I, I believe now it's more on the app side, right? So you different people see different recommendations, uh, a little bit of changes in the orders of the uh, the menus. So the key concept here is, you know, you when you do A B experiments, you have to put people into different groups, and different groups people will see, uh, you know, the key difference. You know, one group is given uh, certain type of you know say web page or product recommendation and the other is given some kind of random choice so that you can see how the lift is created um, final example is uh, is at uber you know uber is a much more uh, online driving uh, needs to those kind of uh, instant instantaneous uh, feedback from a system so what they create is a system that can bridge the business side, you know, people on the business side, they need to focus on the metrics, you know, what, what is my experiment, what I'm going to trying to achieve in this experiment, and they translate that into a SQL metric, and then for the, and the building those, you know, typical outlier removal, and evaluate if there are any pre-existing bias in the experiment process. And then they give the business people, you know, a very clear uh, result. You know, whether your experiment is creating uh, the difference you expect to see. So that's the technology part. Uh, but back to the uh, first thing I was talking about uh, in this, uh, when you are reading this book, you need to understand it's not really about technology. It's about your mindset, your mindset as a business decision makers and your leadership's mindset, we have to adapt ourselves to a more competitive, more data driven uh, environment, right? So hope you enjoyed this book and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.